is he got caught the last time. Again! Oh! Gets caught for the second time. An overhand right by Duno. WBC Youth Intercontinental Lightweight Championship. Contra Filipinas in a boxing classic. The Philippines against Mexico. But in the blue corner, he steps in, wearing white, gold, and black. He's official weight, 134.6 pounds. Of 12 wins against one loss, and 11 of those wins come in by the way of knockout. Representing General Santos City, Filipinas. Romero, Sandman, Duro! Wearing white trunks with gold and black. Out. Puritita Buena Park, California. El Invicto, Christian Chimpa, Gonzalez! Pero bago yan, ay huwag doon sanang kakalimutan na mag-subscribe sa aking YouTube channel para lagi kang updated sa kabang-abang na bakbakan sa mundo ng boxing. And El Animal chasing quickly. Chimpa Gonzalez in the custom Everlast gloves. They're white. Ruthless Romero Luno, 12 and 1 from General Santos City with the black glove. The one near the nickname Chimpa, what we've said in the past was always oh, got to say it because it's a pretty cool nickname. When he was a toddler, you know that Christmas toy with a, a chimpanzee is playing the symbols, going back and forth like that. Well, they had that at his house at Christmas, and he started emulating that, and they're like, oh, he looks like a little chimpanzee. And as you know, with Mexicans, anytime you get a nickname, it will stick with you forever. And that's where the nickname Chipa, he is now using his logo and as his brand, opening round against Romero Iguno. Chipa, 16-0, trained by father Oscar Gonzalez Sr. Coming out very aggressive is Chipa Gonzalez. Beto, I think early on, this is exactly where Chipa wants to be. If he's going to be able to establish that jab, I think he'll be content to actually move outside a little bit. But if he can get in close, he's one of those taller fighters, Jason. Despite his build, they seem to be more comfortable inside than on the perimeter. Yeah, you know, I think he's boxing very well right now. He's establishing his jab, which I said earlier on, I think is key in any fight. You know, I think his punches are definitely looking stronger and more effective than doing his punches right now. This is Ruthless Romero Duno. Du Ruthless because of his style, he just comes at you. We saw that clip of him fighting in the mall in the Ooh. Philippines. He will stand there with you. And you know what the problem is right now? He's standing in with Chimpo. I just really thought landed a very good looking left hook. A lot of people watching this fight all over the United States. Also in Mexico, the Olympian just signed a golden boy, Raul Curiel Garcia. El Cougar, you know him at the gym in Carson, from Tamaulipas, Mexico. He's watching us in Lake Elsinore. He will be making his pro debut on the Canelo Chavez card in Las Vegas. If you don't speak English and you're watching Ray TV, you know you're dedicated to us, Steve. <laughs> Some would say you're better off that way. But Jason, I think moving on, I know one thing Chippa seems to believe that he's a stronger puncher. I think one mistake he can't make is to continue inside without at least throwing that jab in front of him. Yeah, definitely. You know, he needs to use that key. He needs to open up the door. He's doing it because, you know, it's going to Oh, and he goes down here in the first. And he's definitely hurt. He's Ruthless hurt. Romero Duro oh. has tagged Chippa Gonzalez. Hey, come here. That's what I was saying. Right. Long, he got tagged. That's why you need the jab. Tom Taylor's looking at him. Come here, Bucks. Is he going to beat the clock? Bucks. Final seconds of the first round. And he has Whoa. no idea where he's walking forward. You expect the blue was going out of here. Keep the hands up. He needs to get boxing. Good Duno, what do you do right here, Jake? Duno has to make sure that he doesn't go for the knockout and blow himself out. He put his Chimpa obviously as a puncher also and he catch Duno. So this is going to be a very interesting round here now for both fighters. 
Well, Steve, as you wrote in your story about Chico Gonzalez this week, his first fight with Golden Boy on this same stage, first round, he was dropped. Right, and he seems to be taking the tactic. He's going to try to smother Duno, not let him unfurl his quick hands from the outside. Uh, I, I do question that, though, but I think the key for him, Jason, is just to see rounds three and four, just get out of round number two as he gathers his legs. Because Chimpa is just walking forward, ready to the same way as he did. Oh! Gets caught for the second time. An overhand right by Duno, right on the chin. Drops Chimpa Gonzalez. His eyes are glazed. I don't know if they're going to let him keep going. It's and it. it is over. A huge knockout for Romero Duno. As Chimpa Gonzalez falls down. He saw either one. The clip that we've seen of Duno. Official time of 57 seconds in round number two. Your winner by the way of knockout. And new WBC Youth Intercontinental Lightweight Champion at Santo City, Filipinas, Romero San Man Duno. There were a lot of stories written about you.